The W and Z bosons are the elementary particles that mediate the weak interaction. Their symbols are W+, plus, W-, minus, and Z. The W bosons have a positive and negative electric charge of one elementary charge respectively and are each other's antiparticles. The Z boson is electrically neutral and is its own antiparticle. The three particles have a spin of one, and the W bosons have a magnetic moment, while the Z has none. All three of these particles are very short-lived, with a half-life of about 697530000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
much as the photon is the carrier particle for the electromagnetic force. W bosons The W bosons are best known for their role in nuclear decay. Consider, for example, the beta decay of cobalt-60. 6027Co6028 Ni++ E- New Ethis reaction does not involve the whole cobalt-60 nucleus, but affects only one of its 33 neutrons. The neutron is converted into a proton while all also emitting an electron and an electron antineutrino. N0P++ E- New E again, the neutron is not an elementary particle but a composite of an up quark and two down quarks. It is in fact one of the down quarks that interacts in beta decay, turning into an up quark to form a proton. At the most fundamental level, then, the weak force changes the flavor of a single quark, du plus w minus, which is immediately followed by decay of the w minus itself. W minus E minus plus new E Z boson The Z boson is its own antiparticle. Thus, all of its flavor quantum numbers and charges are zero. The exchange of a Z boson between particles, called a neutral current interaction, therefore leaves the interacting particles unaffected, except for a transfer of momentum. Z boson interactions involving neutrinos have distinctive signatures. They provide the only known mechanism for elastic scattering of neutrinos in matter. Neutrinos are almost as likely to scatter elastically as inelastically. The first prediction of Z bosons was made by Brazilian physicist José Light Lopes in 1958. By devising an equation which showed the analogy of the weak nuclear interactions with electromagnetism, Steve Weinberg, Sheldon Glashor and Abduz Salam used later these results to develop the electroweak unification. In 1973, weak neutral currents via Z boson exchange were confirmed shortly thereafter in 1974, in a neutrino experiment in the Gargamel bubble chamber at CERN predicting the W and Z. Following the spectacular success of quantum electrodynamics in the 1950s, attempts were undertaken to formulate a similar theory of the weak nuclear force. This culminated around 1968 in a unified theory of electromagnetism and weak interactions by Sheldon Glashor, Steven Weinberg, and Abduz Salam, for which they shared the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics. Their electroweak theory postulated not only the W bosons necessary to explain beta decay, but also a new Z boson that had never been observed. The fact that the W and Z bosons have mass while photons are massless was a major obstacle in developing electroweak theory. These particles are accurately described by an SU gauge theory, but the bosons in a gauge theory must be massless. As a case in point, the photon is massless because electromagnetism is described by a U-gauge theory. Some mechanism is required to break the SU symmetry, giving mass to the W and Z in the process. One explanation, the Higgs mechanism, was forwarded by the 1964 PRL symmetry breaking papers. It predicts the existence of yet another new particle, the Higgs boson, of the four components of a Goldstone boson created by the Higgs field, 3R, eaten by the W plus, Z0, and W minus bosons to form their longitudinal components and the remainder appears as the spin zero Higgs boson. The combination of the SU gauge theory of the weak interaction, the electromagnetic interaction, and the Higgs mechanism is known as the Glashor Weinberg Salam model. These days it is widely accepted as one of the pillars of the standard model of particle physics. As of 13 December 2011, intensive search for the Higgs boson carried out at CERN has indicated that if the particle is to be found, it seems likely to be found around 125 GeV. On 4 July 2012, the CMS and the Atlas Experimental Collaborations at CERN announced the discovery of a new particle with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GeV that appears consistent with a Higgs boson discovery. Unlike beta decay, 
the observation of neutral current interactions that involve particles other than neutrinos requires huge investments in particle accelerators and detectors, such as are available in only a few high-energy physics laboratories in the world. This is because Z bosons behave in somewhat the same manner as photons but do not become important until the energy of the interaction is comparable with the relatively huge mass of the Z boson. The discovery of the W and Z bosons was considered a major success for CERN. First, in 1973, came the observation of neutral current interactions as predicted by electroweak theory. The huge gargamel bubble chamber photographed the tracks of a few electrons suddenly starting to move, seemingly of their own accord. This is interpreted as a neutrino interacting with the electron by the exchange of an unseen Z boson. The neutrino is otherwise undetectable, so the only observable effect is the momentum imparted to the electron by the interaction. The discovery of the W and Z bosons themselves had to wait for the construction of a particle accelerator powerful enough to produce them. The first such machine that became available was the superproton synchrotron, where unambiguous signals of W bosons were seen in January 1983 during a series of experiments made possible by Carlo Rubbia and Simon van der Meer. The actual experiments were called UA1 and UA2, and were the collaborative effort of many people. Van der Meer was the driving force on the accelerator end. UA1 and UA2 found the Z boson a few months later, in May 1983. Rubia and van der Meer were promptly awarded the 1984 Nobel Prize in Physics, a most unusual step for the conservative Nobel Foundation. The W+, W-, and Z0 bosons, together with the photon, comprised the four-gauge bosons of the electroweak interaction. Decay. The W and Z bosons decay to fermion antifermion pairs, but neither the W nor the Z bosons can decay into the higher mass top quark, neglecting phase space effects and higher order corrections. Simple estimates of their branching fractions can be calculated from the coupling constants. W bosons W bosons can decay to a lepton a neutrino or to an uptype quark and a downtype quark. The decay width of the W boson to a quark and to quark pair is proportional to the corresponding squared CKM matrix element and the number of quark colors. NCE equals 3. The decay widths for the W bosons are then proportional to here, E plus, mu plus, tau plus denote the three flavors of leptons. Nu E, nu mu, nu tau denote the three flavors of neutrinos. The other particles, starting with U and D, e, all denote quarks and antiquarks. The various Vij denote the corresponding CKM matrix coefficients. Unitarity of the CKM matrix implies that VUD 2 plus VUS 2 plus VUB 2 equals VCD 2 plus VCS 2 plus VCB 2 equals 1. Therefore the leptonic branching ratios of the W boson are approximately B equals B equals B equals 1 ninth. The hadronic branching ratio is dominated by the CKM favored UD and CS final states. The sum of the hadronic branching ratios has been measured experimentally to be 7001676000000067.60 plus or minus 0.27% with B equals 7001108000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
where T3 is the third component of the weak isospin of the fermion, Q is the electric charge of the fermion, and theta W is the weak mixing angle. Because the weak isospin is different for fermions of different chirality, either left-handed or right-handed, the coupling is different as well. The relative strengths of each coupling can be estimated by considering that the decay rates include the square of these factors, and all possible diagrams. This is just an estimate, as we are considering only tree-level diagrams in the Fermi theory. Here, L and R denote the left and right-handed chiralities of the fermions respectively. The notation x equals sin 2 theta w is used.